I've been let go. What? You heard me. They fired me. Now that the parade's over, it seems they don't need a harness maker on the payroll anymore. There's my last pay packet. Fourteen dollars. Well, I have nearly thirty dollars saved up in my coffee tin. Oh, that's it then. That's what we got in this world. How could Eaton's treat you this way? After all your years with the company? I never missed a day in 15 years. I guess that's their idea of a Christmas present for loyal service. There must be other places you can find work, Thomas. Wow. Well, not likely as a harness maker. Eaton's is one of the last places to switch over to trucks. We've enough for December, and I can make do for food from what we have. Well, that should be enough time for you to find work, don't you think? I'll be looking every day. We'll be fine. We have to tell the children. Children, we have something to tell you. Your father has lost his job at Eaton's. Can't you find it again, Papa? Hush now, Jakey. Just listen. Until your father is working again, you'll have to be brave little soldiers. We're going to have to do without some things and make every penny count. I know that I can depend on you, can't I? Of course, Mama. And I can find work. You'll stay in school. Part-time work, maybe. Well, Aunt Susan said I can help out in the net shop anytime I want. Maybe. Maybe there's something you can do for Aunt Susan on Saturdays. That certainly would be helpful, Bookie. Every penny counts until your father is working again. I can get a paper route like Mikey has. Mikey's a little bit older than you. So for now, you just be the bravest boy you can be. All right? So are we going to have to move? We don't have to think about that just now. Come, let's have some dinner. How can a man not be ashamed that he can't even provide for his own family? It's not going to come to that, Thomas. We won't let it. Can I take Jakey to Eden's to see Santa? No. Thomas? You're being completely unreasonable. There's little enough ways for the children to have a Christmas this year. Unreasonable, is it? Letting them get their hearts set on presents we can't buy them? How's that going to make for a better Christmas? I want to go see Santa. I go to ask him for a trike. Why don't you write Santa a letter? You can each ask for one thing, only it can't be too costly. I don't think Santa can give you a trike this year, Jakey. Maybe next year. Here's our letter to Santa. Jakey still wants a trick. Oh, he's a stubborn one, that one. Just like his father. I'll think of something. Bookie. God knows you're not asking for much. We'll do the best we can, but don't be too disappointed if there's little under the tree. Off you go to bed now. Mama? Yes? I just wish that we could have a happy Christmas like we did last year. Oh, I'm so sorry, Buki. If only you knew how much I wanted that myself. Just a happy Christmas. But we'll make do the best we can, won't we? Look what I've got. This is a roast pork loin. Where did you get this? Laura gave it to me. They were going to feed it to their dog. Does her mother know that she gave this to you? Yes. And what did she say? She talked to Laura. She looked mad, but Laura said it was about something else. I see. 
What are we eating? I'm starving. I'm hungry. Is that dinner? Okay, I'm gonna have to take this back. What? Why? I don't understand. If we give up our pride and accept charity from people who begrudge it, we'll not have the strength as a family to overcome these trials. We don't need the food from their table. We can provide for ourselves. We're Thompsons. The Thompsons have never needed anyone's pity. Not in the two generations we've lived in this country, and not in the 500 years we go back in the old country, neither. Are we agreed on that? Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Won't you step inside, Mrs. Thompson? Well, I don't know that there's anything that needs saying. Please. You didn't need to come all this way to return that meat if you didn't want it. You could have just thrown it out. And have you think we were grateful for your table scraps? We're down in our luck, Mrs. Westover, but we're not in need of your pity. It was my daughter's doing, not mine. I think your daughter has a kind heart. I doubt she got it from you. If you'll excuse me, I'll be going. I don't want your daughter coming around here anymore. Oh, you needn't worry about that. What's this? It's a new comic book Laura gave to me. I'm going to give it to Arthur. I'm just reading it one last time. I think it would be best if you and Laura didn't see each other outside of school anymore. Why not? We're best friends. Her mother doesn't want you coming to her house, Spooky. Is it because Laura gave me the roast pork? I'm sorry I took it. I won't ever take anything from their house again. It's got nothing to do with you. You certainly aren't to blame for anything. I don't understand. What's wrong with me being friends with Laura? Laura's mother is the kind of woman who wants people to like her. Important people. That matters to her very much. Well, I pity her for being so foolish as to think that kind of thing matters. It doesn't, Bookie. It's got nothing to do with what a person's really like, what's really in their heart. But some people can't see that. And there's nothing we can do about it. I'm still gonna be Laura's friend, and I hope she'll be my friend, no matter what her mother says. Well, Laura's lucky to have you as a friend. But you can't expect her to go against her mother. I just don't wanna see you get hurt, that's all. 